at the Squirrel Hill Sports Bar right outside. I'm sorry? I think we got some CSR Your congregation. Chance. We're here, man. The congregation for you. Proud, man. Renell Hunt at Renell Hunt 7 on Twitter at Josh Eisenberg for Chair Shot Reality at Squirrel Hill Sports Bar right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In this segment, we're going to dedicate to the guy. Not the man, but the guy, Ooh. Roman Reigns. Do we have any Roman Ooh. Reigns? And that's why my question is, Roman Reigns, is he losing steam right now, Renell, with all the influx of new talent, with the AJ Styles, Seth Rollins returning, the club, all these guys from NXT being caught up. Is Roman Reigns losing steam? I mean, listen, listen, one second. Look at that belt. Look at it. If you look at it, that is the highest that you can get within the WWE by chance right now. You have that in your hands. It's easy for you to lose it. I said that he's losing it right now because flat out he's too complacent. I think he has a lot more that he can do with himself. He has a lot more that he can give of himself in his matches. He's losing it right now. I think he's slowing down momentum. I think he might be a little complacent right now within WWE. I think Roman Reigns is a guy that knows his place in the company. He knows that he's marketable. He knows that he's going to cater to the women, the children, the modern day John Cena with a little bit more athleticism because as much as people want to bash Roman Reigns, the guy can actually go. The I guy's admit, not three moves. He's not a fake punch of a five-knuckle shuffle. He doesn't have these crazy gimmicks. He has more than John Cena had at this point in I his career. I agree with him once. Okay? But Roman Reigns is not losing steam, and I'll tell you why. Because of that title. That's exactly uh, why. The guy's on top of the mountain right now. And when you have a returning Seth Rollins, when you have all these guys coming into the WWE roster and, and, and really infiltrating their power, you're going to have differences. You're going to have different storylines. You don't need your world champion to be as creative, as over the top, as out of the box as guys like the club and guys like the NXT guys because he, he said he's complacent. He is. You think yeah, his character is so. complacent? I think so. What did you say? You said his character is complacent, correct? I believe, yes. I think complacency right now for him is okay because you have Seth Rollins coming back in the spotlight should be on Seth Rollins. You don't need Roman Reigns to go over the top. You have Seth Rollins go over the top Wait and make this storyline better than what it could be. You're making the congregation change with me. So, number one, let them oh. bring this uh -oh. back and let's look in the book You're of You're going to testify. Number one, in the book of Rev, Roman Reigns right now is complacent. Does he need to stay that in order for Seth Rollins to, to, to have the limelight? No, absolutely not. I think Seth Rollins' comeback has been at the top of its game right now. He's right there. Roman Reigns doesn't need to slow down at all. As a matter of fact, he needs to kick it up a notch. Let them focus on Seth Rollins saying, all right, we need this guy out of position. He needs to kick it up a notch. I completely dis I'm sorry. I disagree with you all together, brother. You know what? <laughs> you can Bada boom. That. Realest guy in the room. How you doing? When you look at this match, <laughs> when you look at this match of Money in the Bank, you know, uh, in Vegas, it's a big fight feel. You know, people know that Las Vegas is this town that people want to see something great in, whether it's UFC or whether it's boxing. Yes. You have Reigns and Rollins. Yes. You have Monday Night, not their best performance back and forth, but you had the champion cut a promo. You had Rollins tease the interaction. My last question for this segment will be. Do we see physical interaction between Reigns and Rollins before Money in the Bank, or do you hold it off until the pay-per-view? I said we have a traditional real quick connection right there. S sign the contract, shoot him right through a table, have security come out. Don't do what I had to do and get knocked out by Roman Reigns, but that's a whole other case altogether. Have security come out, pull him out of the ring, sit, end it like that. Leave the fans right there like, oh, my goodness, what the heck is going on? Next thing you know, send it over, Money in the Bank. All of WrestleZone's talking about it. Cheer Shot Reality's talking about it. It's going to go down in history. But Roman Reigns has to stay on top. That's going to be something we talk about. Prediction weekend for Chair Shot Reality here on WrestleZone. But we are here all weekend long. Justin and I wrap Woo. it up. Part four. We're going to talk Goldberg. And is he going to be in a WWE ring sooner rather than later? I'm looking forward to at it. At Renell Hunt 7. At Josh Eisenberg for Chair Shot Reality. One more part. Don't go anywhere. Who's next?